I'm cleaning this. I need you to regulate that. They're in there going bat crazy, and I'm trying to keep my calm. Welcome to Red, White, and Bethune. We are Jen, Kyle, Ben, Molly, Eli, and we travel with our four dogs in our 1983 Silver Eagle bus. Come along as we show you America through our lens. Last week on Red, White, and Bethune, we got our turbo in at the bus grease monkey, working great. We packed up the bus, we headed down the road, but found ourselves at an 11 foot bridge. We had to turn around and we did make it to the campground. Let's see what's going on this week. Well, good morning. Uh, we're working on getting the bus packed up because we're hitting the road. We have zero, and I mean, zero service here unless you want to buy their Wi-Fi and we really don't want to buy the Wi-Fi. What we're doing is we're packing up the bus. We are going to hit the road to a state park. We're going to be heading near Crossville, Tennessee because we're looking at a possible bus for our bus B&B &B for the campground. It is 20 something degrees outside right now so it's a little chilly. There is snow coming. We had to make the decision that today was the day that we've got to leave if we're going to leave. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to take you guys along with us and let's just hope for a smooth and easy travel day. Right, Fifi? Yeah. He's waiting for his turn to go outside. Hi, everybody. Just want to update you on our ride, how it's going for us. The windows were fogging up too much, but we had to turn the heat off. And that's why I'm in like a parka and a thing. Poor Kyle is frozen yeah. right now, driving the I bus. Am. We're pulling into a Loves. Our solar is probably not charging because there's no sunlight <laughs> at all. So we can't run heaters or power or anything. And we still have two hours left to go. All right. Stop it. About two hours we're going to be stuck in this till we get to the state park that we're going to. Y'all are wondering about bus life. It's pretty awesome and cold. So we're about half an hour away. And it's freezing and it is insanely foggy or misty outside. But we are still bundled up in the bus because it's cold. We've got a little bit longer to go. We have about half an hour to get to the state park. We just really want to get there because we have become Bethune Sickles at this point and we're tired and we want to get the heaters running. At this point in the day, because we have no power, the batteries are drained, we can't even plug like a phone charger up. If the phone goes down, we have to like remember how to get there in our heads. That's kind of where we're at. We can't use any of the plugs or receptacles, fridges, off. I think this is one of those days where we're gonna remember it. While we're going through it, it's not so fun. It'll be a funny story maybe down the road. Let's keep on trucking and see how far we can get. So I know I don't know about you guys, but our bus gets absolutely wrecked on travel days. Do you guys have the same issue? Let me know down in the comments below, but as you can see, stuff's just kind of everywhere. But today was a travel day, not like many others, so we uh, finally made it. Got the bus warming up, so that's all we can ask for. What you think, Eli? Uh, it was so cream? scary out there, Mom. What do we got going on for dinner tonight? Chipotle bus life, and I guess. Chipotle bus life? So we got black beans, chicken, lettuce, tomatoes, cilantro, lime, rice. Ooh, your own pico, some cheese. Babe, you're just, you're amazing. I try. All right, let's eat. So we get asked quite a bit, do we make the kids do chores? You know, what are their duties in the bus? Of course we do. We try to give them some type of responsibility, something they can handle. So let's go show you what we got going on. We got Ben in here doing some dishes. Did scrub-a-dub-dub. But they rotate dishes. Molly does one night. Ben puts away. Ben washes one night. Molly puts away. So this is their primary chore after dinner every night. Trying to get these dishes done. What are you guys doing back here? It's a poodle party. It sounds like a party. There's some part Kevin and Wheezy are wrestling. Beefy and Daddy are wrestling. Hmm? And Chico's sitting out. Hi, Chico. See you, Bowie. Oh, and the Gucci goes. I, however, have to get back to 
work. I've been editing some of our videos today because I like to stay on top of it. I don't like to get behind, so I'm going to get back to work while the kids do their chores and Kyle wrestles with dogs. Good morning, everyone. I will explain this later. But first, I want to get to us being at the park for a few days and we hadn't shot a whole lot of footage because it was rainy and slushy and nasty, right? Like it's just been really gross. I want to show you guys what we woke up to because we knew it was going to be cold. It was going to be like 15 degrees this morning. However, what we didn't know, and it didn't predict it in the forecast, a winter freaking wonderland it is coming down like the snow it's crazy kyle is thrilled he said he's not leaving the bed today what are you doing the door was iced up and frozen up so i was trying to heat the mechanism up so we can get outside this is crap absolute crap anyway go back to florida all right try your invention it's nice and snowy. Oh, this is awesome. It is a beautiful winter wonderland out here. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. What a wonderful thing to wake up to. So our door has been acting up and the worst possible thing literally just happened. I just told the kids, cause they wanted to come outside and play, which is fine. But I told them don't shut the door completely because the door handle is not working from the outside. Until we can fix it, we can't like shut the door for all out of the bus because now we can't get back into the bus. And it's 10 degrees outside. And we have four dogs and three kids outside. And we can't get back into the bus. Well, at least Kyle got the door open. Now he's just with the handle back on. He's not happy. Hey, Kevin. One thing is for certain, Kevin loves the snow. You love the snow, Kevin? Go, go, go get him. He is like all about the snow. Gavi, Kev, Kev. Oh. But you guys, this is so beautiful. I love the snow. Kevin loves the snow too. But I love the snow. It's just magic. It's just magic. Well, the good news is we did make it back inside. So that's good. However, our underwater bay, the heating lamp that Kyle had on it last night, cut out. We now don't have any water. We weren't preparing for snow because the forecast didn't say that it was gonna snow. We woke up to this this morning. If that were, if we would have known that it was going to snow, we would have put the second heater down there to make sure that the first one didn't go off. We get a lot of questions about what we do for school. We're switching it up a little bit this week. Kyle actually ordered the kids two Kindles. So they each are gonna get their own Kindle. Kyle downloaded a book to his phone and the two Kindles. They're gonna do um, some book reports this week. Well, let's check in and see how that's going. So we ordered all these kids Kindles. They come with a case. Um, and we're gonna be reading The Cricket in Times Square. Ooh, let me see the case. It's all fancy. Yeah, they're really cute. I, I really like this. Instead of having to buy three copies of every book and store three copies of every book, I figured this would be a better method to try and do it than to buy a bunch of books that we have nowhere to store. We'll see how it goes. Hmm? Look at these crazy Florida people in the snow. One's eating snow falling out of the sky. Actually, both are eating snow falling out of the sky. Like, what is wrong with these people? It's like 14 degrees outside. <laughs> Got Randy from the uh, Christmas story in the front and Ben back there. But yeah, I'm keeping my happy butt in this bed where it's warm. Look how cool it is back here. There's a stream. Me and Ben decided to go on a little walk. Kevin, no, Kevin, ah, oh. You're a nincompoop. You are a nincompoop, come on, let's go. Goober, here we go. Oh, oh my gosh, I survived. Come on, Ben, your glove, oh my God, my glove. Oh no, how do I get it? Oh, jeez. Only 
I do this. Thanks, Ben. This is actually one of the things the park is known for, Cumberland Mountain State Park. They have this really cool bridge. I mean, how picturesque is this with the snow? It's just stunning. So I just got a call from Kyle and apparently the bus is flooding. I don't know how it's flooding, but he said it's flooding and we have to get our bus back there. So we're trying to go in the snow as fast as we possibly can. Like we walked like a mile and a half. So I really hope the bus isn't flooding. What, what do you mean it's flooding? Just I'm thawing the wet bay out and apparently somebody left the kitchen faucet on and nobody did the dishes. <laughs> So it flooded over there and I've been laying back there with the kids watching a movie and I get up and the bus is flooded. What are, how do we fix this? Did you stop the flooding? Yeah. Well, I'm gone for an hour on a walk and the entire bus is now flooded. Started right here because the kids didn't want to do the dishes last night. So I told them they could do them today. Pipes froze over so they couldn't do them. Somebody left the sink on and it spilled over all the way down here, all the way down here into the dog kennel. I mean, the dog kennel has standing water in it. And now, back here, it's just nothing but standing water. What you doing? I'm sopping up water. Because somebody left the sink on. And didn't do the dishes? And they didn't do the dishes last night like they were told to do and they swore up and down that they would do them in the morning while well, the fresh water tank was frozen this morning or the lines were frozen so they couldn't do the dishes which then means the dishes got piled high up in the sink then somebody turned the sink on and left it on and the dish the water couldn't drain so the water spilled over onto the floor, down my hallway, all underneath beds. Ben's bunk is completely soaked. The dog kennel is soaked. There's water back here by my bed. And Ben and I were on a walk while it was happening. So now, get to going back. So what happened is I ended up putting my buddy heater in the bay because I wanted to thaw the lines out because we had water in the tank. And I already had some heat lamps down there, but still the lines got frozen. I did that, went and watched the movie with the kids in the bed. Apparently somebody left the pump and the sink in the kitchen on. And yeah, we now we have a flooded bus. So winter cannot get over soon enough for me. I'm really debating going back south to Florida because this is crap. And, and didn't tell you the best part, the dogs were in the kennel. Uh, well, it was yeah, they were standing up. They didn't bark or whine or anything, which I'm kind of surprised. I'm cleaning this. I need you to regulate that. They're in there going bad crazy, and I'm trying to keep my car. Is this going on YouTube? No, this isn't going on YouTube. I need you to deal with that because I'm cleaning up the What are you doing? Cooking noise. Well, what a freaking day, guys. My God. One thing after another. A flooded bus, freezing temperature, no water. <laughs> Like, we can't even wash our hands. I went to Dollar, ran to Dollar General and bought some cheap gallons of water that we could at least give the dogs water. What a day. I mean, when I got that call, the bus was flooded. I was like, is this a practical joke? Because it's cold outside. So how is this happening right now? It was not a practical joke, and I had to spend mm. my day cleaning a bus. As I was picking up water, I picked up some um, towels, and we sopped up water for a couple hours, and finally got it taken care of. But yeah, what a day. Yeah, and not to mention this awesome hair I've got going on. I was going to try and use some baking soda today to get whatever this is out. But we can't really go to the store and drive. So. Yeah, there's no water. And there's no water. More importantly, there is no water. So it wouldn't make a bit of difference. Tomorrow, we're hoping tomorrow's a great day. Because you know what tomorrow is? A travel day weather permitting. Hopefully it's supposed to warm up a little bit tomorrow by midday. So we've only got a couple hours left to be where we need to be so we're gonna try to get it done and be done with yeah. all of this because it's not like super cold over there no, so. good night